Hello friends, welcome to my class and today's topic is gender and sexuality. Gender as you know is a social construct. This term was coined around 1970 by feminist scholars to define social roles, characteristics and values of a particular sex. On the basis of social roles, males are assigned to be masculine because they are strong aggressive and capable to do heavy works in fields and in industries while on the other hand females are tagged to be feminine because they are weak they are incapable of doing heavy works like men they are soft tender and on some occasions they are supposed to remain inside the house doing other household works now is that i am who i think you think i am yes in a nutshell gender is a social construct so it's a social perception what society thinks about you and me it is created by society now let us discuss about sexuality sexuality comes out of root word sex which is a biological construct sexuality comprises of sexual behaviors which could be verbal and non verbal and sexual desires which are in thoughts and feelings sexual desires are due to hormonal changes in our body but sexual behaviors can take verbal and non verbal form in verbal sexual behaviors one can approach to opposite sex or same sex with verbal abusive or sexual language while in non verbal sexual behavior one may approach to opposite or same sex using actions now on the basis of sexuality there are so many categories that you must know there are heterosexual which are also called as a straight that is opposite sex have attraction for each other which is very common and natural there are gays or homosexuals that is males attracted towards males which is unnatural or something awkward in society there may be lesbians that is females attracted to females there could be asexual that is anybody is not attracted to anyone and there could be bisexuals that is having attraction for any of the genders there are lot more to discuss like polysexual pansexual cisgenders etc now friends let's discuss about sexual harassment sexual harassment is a way or technique to harass others through unwanted conduct behavior gestures insulting humiliating intimidating hurtful malicious jokes of sexual nature or other ways in order to degrade one's own dignity it can be gender based or it can take gender form when the harassment is from male to male from female to female or from male to female or female to male now let's discuss them one by one when harassment is from male to male for example you would have seen students teasing each other like hey you are looking like female why are you crying like female when this teasing exceeds beyond limitation then it takes a form of harassment and in severe cases it may also lead to suicidal ideation now let's discuss about female to female harassment you would have seen females talking about each other regarding face beauty style appearance color or complexion when this teasing exceeds beyond limitation it takes form of harassment and on some occasions it may also lead to suicidal tendencies now let's discuss about male to female harassment and this is very common you would have seen students or males teasing females and using vulgar language or abusive language to tease each other this is a kind of harassment it generally takes place at workplaces like schools colleges industries 
offices etc and it is very common there could be female to male harassment also but the evidences for that are very few now friends let us discuss about sexual abuse this term is also very familiar to you all it is higher than harassment actually harassment takes form of abuse when it exceeds in action through ill use misuse incest molestation or rape here one thing you need to understand is that abuse is misuse of power or position that is why someone said rape is not about sex but it is about power that you make of your position now let us discuss about effects of sexual abuses sexual abuses can lead to shame guilt depression low self esteem post traumatic stress disorders pelvic pains internal injuries addiction and on some occasion it can lead to suicidal ideation another word you hear is gender biasness gender biasness is unequal treatment in job opportunities pays or other kinds of social benefits for example boys are allowed to go to school and girls are not or boys are admitted to good school while girls are not it may be that boys are allowed to go in parties and treats while girls are prohibited so here friends we have discussed gender and sexuality in our coming video we will come up with new topics thank you so much for watching this video